Continue. Changer le gardien de but. Bien, Ricardo. Don't move too much. There, you ready? Good. Very good. Very good. Now in the right position. I never shot. Movement, movement, movement. Don't move too much. Good. Good to be in the right position. Good. Next there, ready, ready, go out and meet him. He's coming in a penetration, you have to go out and meet him. Good, very good save. Good. Very good. Okay, stop. We should continue, otherwise we don't have time to go, otherwise I will stay here all night, because I enjoy it. <laughs> okay, do we have uh, three pivot players? Do we have three pivot players? Okay, do we have any coulé, coulé for pivot? Okay, while we are looking, I need three defenders and three pivot players. Trois défenseurs et trois pivots. Six, six players. Six players. I will need six players here. Okay, do we have the same? Six players? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many are we now? Two in each. Two here, two there, and two there. Now we are too many. Two, you are there. Okay. Okay, we are coulettes. The exercise is the same, but now we should play two against one. What will happen? The wing player, you will start to give me the ball, attacking me. Now we are playing two against one. I can shoot, I can play to him, I can penetrate, or I play to you. Now you are two against one. One defender, and you are two attackers. If you don't shoot, you pass the ball uh, to him, and you are two against one. So this is the way to the goalkeepers to start to read. First to move, take a, a snapshot. It's very famous, snapshot, no? You make a snapshot, you make a decision quickly. Will it be a shoot? Will it be to the pivot? Or will they pass the ball? Training, 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 go to the next way. And we do like this. How many wing players do I have? I have a... We have these players here. We have one wing player there. Okay. Wing players up to the half court. Half court. A goalkeeper there. Goalkeeper starter there. And wing player up to the half court. And Sean Shea. Guardian, debut. Okay. I will make two exercises in one also because the time is running away. I also like to train a lot because, uh, like we do when we're training defense, counter-attack. Or we are playing attack and we're going home. The goalkeepers also have to train, save the ball, go up with the ball to the counter-attack. So now we have an exercise. Ricardo, you're starting up. I'm the attacker. I play two against one here. You know what's coming out? I shoot. Puff. I shoot. You save the ball. Find one of these two guys. You start to run. One of you, not both. One of you run. And you have to see quickly which one of the two are running. So you have to hit him with the ball. Okay? Hit him. Find him with the ball. Okay? And uh, normally we can have a goalkeeper there, but uh, today they are here as the passers. Okay, let's we go there. there. The, the Coulets is pivot player, no? Coulet, pivot. Couleur. Okay. Okay, let's go. There. Okay, then we do. I'm in the middle. When you have a scored, no. When they score, you pass the ball to me. Okay, let's go. Find one, find one. It was not goal. One of the players. 
Gardien de but, no but, rien de but, ok? Give him some extra balls there. Ricardo, dale una pola extra. Find one, find one. Good. Next one, legs ball. Give him some extra balls there so he can start. There, come out, reach him. And now I'm here. Contra attack. Good. Good save. Find the ball. Find the ball. Find the attacker. Good. Very good. Good pass. Good save. Continue. Let's go for the ball. Find him. Find him. Find him. Good. Good pass. I'm here. I'm here. Good. Next one. Good save. Give him the ball. Find one. Good. Okay, we can change goalkeeper and we go for the, I think will be the last exercise. Otherwise, we I don't have, we can make the same. Uh, we will have two defenders and three attackers. The wing players come back. I need the wing players here. Also, when I'm training the goalkeepers, take away, open up, take away that uh, out, rouse. No one in the middle. No one in the middle. We will have two defenders, one pivot, one back player, and one wing player. So we are playing three against two. Three against two, okay? Because this is a step before we play the games, like a training the game situation. Now I want a lot of shots. I want the goalkeeper to be active. I want him to have saves. I want him to be in. That's why we play the defense with one less. So we play three against two here. You start with the ball. Here we don't play. You just pass the ball. I give the ball to you. Quick decisions. Three against two. You have to, uh, to score, you have to shoot, because the ball can't come back. When you're shooting, you take a new ball, you pass over to them, and three against two. You have to try to read the situation. It's as similar as a game possible, but a lot of shots, okay? Let's go. Start it. There we come. There, Ricardo, I have to read the game. Start for the other side, over with the ball here. Attack, attack. Then we're coming over. Good. Here we can also put in some players in the half court to re receive the ball from the counter-attack. Next one, ball. Start it, let's go over here. No, 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 no. The ball should always come over. The ball should always come over. So more goalkeeper has to move. Good shooting. Start the next ball. Start the next ball. Start the next ball. Over here. Now we go. Here we go. Good. This is the tactical training for the goalkeeper to see if he can try to uh, read the game. Yes, continue. Yes, continue. With a lot of shots. Because then we have the second part, or the last part, when we're training the goalkeepers with the team, is that we are playing three against three, five against five, six against six, with his own defenders. Now we are training the goalkeepers to try to learn to see the situation. What will happen when this situation comes? What will happen? So we are going from different levels of training. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we stop there. Ricardo, boa, boa parada. Un, a big applause for, the, for them. Very good. Thank you very much, guys. You have been a pleasure working with you. Very nice.
Um, I see the time is running out. We are a little bit hungry. We're a little bit tired. And maybe, maybe I'm lucky. Maybe I'm lucky that we'll have one question. I have, I'm a little bit worried because I see some faces that is very good, high level of goalkeepers. Alexander Bulliganaki, for example, a good friend of mine. So I know that the level could be very high that I will receive, but it doesn't matter because the questions are never any bad questions, just bad answers. Your and I will try to give question. you my opinion if there's anyone who wants to ask me a question. But only time. <laughs> Merci. Oh. Oups, pardon. Merci pour la séance. Ça fonctionne Non Oui Oui. Bien. Merci pour la séance. Jamais. Well, thank you for that. You never told, uh, gave any specific constraints or sanctions to the people who were missing their shots, uh, the attackers who were missing their shots. No sanctions. Uh, however, you said you kept praising um, the, uh, the keeper. Um, the goalkeepers when they were saving balls. I always think the sport should be something that is uh, happiness, it's joyable. Uh, in every part of life, whatever you do, you could do it bad or, or good, but uh, especially when you're doing something that you're doing by your own uh, proper voluntad, uh, voluntary, you're doing something because you like it, then I never use punishment. I never use punishment for goalkeepers. At also, when I try to develop my goalkeepers, we discuss a lot. Uh, I'm asking them, how do you feel? How is it feeling in your body when you try to make this movement? I can talk with my goalkeeper. It's like I, I saw yesterday a uh, small uh, article about uh, Mikael Appergen who was talking with a journalist, and he said, Talking with Mats is okay. We are talking about small, small things first, really, the technical parts. Then I ask him, why did you do that? Because he can answer to me, Mats, I was twisting the foot, so I was in this position. And this position, I can't make my movement. Fine. Or we can discuss, why didn't you see the, the, the pass from the center to the pivot in that time? So it's so much discussion. And uh, so when I try to uh, reach my goalkeeper, I had to reach him at his level, and I always try to understand what he was trying to say and why he was doing something. But I, I never met any goalkeeper that don't want to save the ball. I never met a shooter that really want to shoot outside. So I don't think that if I punish one for shooting outside, he will do it better. I just want him to concentrate yourself. Okay? Any other questions? No. Pas d'autres questions. Just no. No more questions. No more questions. No more questions. We are short on time. And we're sorry. Uh, what I would like to say is that if you would like to continue this dis the discussions on perceptions and, and, and all this, we would be more than happy to see you tomorrow uh, at the or at the uh, at the high school. Um, this is very unusual, um, and we completely agree with him on the fact that when you take care, good care of uh, goalkeepers, we don't really work on the perceptions and uh, decision making. So, we uh, would love to have you with us tomorrow at 10:30 in the high school. We'll talk about this at length. Okay, thank you. So let's meet again in about uh, half an hour in the annex, uh, where we will have uh, the uh, a pleasant evening all together. Again, it's free of charge.